this is Manly with verticallessons.com. In this video, you're gonna pick up a key component that often gets overlooked when creating a culture where people step up with more engagement. At Build-A-Bear Workshop, one of my favorite rituals was in the early days especially, we did a weekly all-hands meeting at our headquarters that we called Bear Quarters. We would all jam-pack into this little lunchroom. And in hand, every single day we had that meeting was our founder, Maxine Clark, with a handful of emails that she had selected from guests. Those were what we called our customers out in the field. And most of the time, these people were sharing experiences, often shining the light on some amazing customer service moment. But always in these emails, the person, the guest would share how meaningful the experience was. This helped us stay in touch with why we were really there, the product in this case we were selling was a bear, but really what we were doing is creating an experience for people. But that really was our product, it was the experience, and it kept us focused on that, and we all knew why we were there. We walked out of there inspired to help make more of those moments uh, happen. And then what we also did was we physically had all of our employees behind the scenes every year would re were required to go out and do a shift in person in one of our stores, doing some role. Uh, if you were shy and completely introverted, uh, you know you didn't have to be out on the front lines in the store, in the very front of the store, but nonetheless, we wanted everyone on the front lines, I, I call it feeling the front lines, making sure that we are all out there, in this case, physically with the people that who are helping create this experience for us and bring that alive. And we wanted to be completely immersed in that so we knew exactly why we were there and who we were there to support those people in this case, in addition to the product, of course. Uh, the third thing we did as well was internally we did this within our department. Uh, for our team, we needed to have a break from the telephone support that was part of our responsibilities so that we could have a regular meeting. Uh, but we had trouble finding phone support coverage, so we ended up asking people from our own department on other teams to come sit in and man the phones in this case and to fill our front lines inside of the organization. This really gave people a perspective. That's the third piece of this that's really powerful, is it gives you a perspective into what is it really like to support this thing that I've created over here in my little bubble. Uh, what is it really like to see this initiative be executed in the field or in the front lines or out there in the environment in which your customer, your client, your uh, people, your prospects are actually going to use what you sell, what you offer, or what you support. Uh, this perspective was really powerful and it really yielded and built much stronger alliances between those other team members. So what are you doing to help stay focused on and completely in touch with the products that you're serving and supporting and providing to people out there? What are you doing to help stay in touch with the people who are creating or providing the, that service or those products and bringing that to life, bringing that experience alive with the people that you support and serve? And then finally, what are you doing to make sure that people have perspective and people are constantly expanding and gaining the perspective of what's it like to do this? What's it like to be out there uh, trying to make this come alive and what we're here for? Why are we here? What is the perspective that really informs your team and, and how do you keep that alive? I wanna hear from you. What are some ways you've done this? Uh, how are you doing this? Are you doing this consistently? That's really a key part of this as well. Uh, right now we're still, when I'm recording this video, we're in a pandemic still and I know, I know you're probably tired. I know you're probably feeling overwhelmed. Uh, know that this can be one way in which you can stay connected and stay focused on what, what's really important, the people you serve. And I just wanna tell you that I do believe it, the sun is coming on the way. The sun of your days are coming and the, and the sun will be shining on our face before we know it. And we're gonna make it through this. And I want you to just keep your head up and, and remember that uh, it's going to get better. I know it is. And uh, we are tired, but we're going to get through this together. Get out there, feel the front lines, stay in touch with the people. Please like this video if you like it. Share it with someone in your life if you think it's going to be uh, helpful to them. And uh, I look forward to staying in touch with you, supporting you any way I can. Thank you.